Greetings, y'all. I'll be doing a review of Scary Godmother, Revenge of Jimmy. Oh, sure, the first movie's okay, but Revenge of Jimmy has a bit more tooth to it. Many Halloweens ago, Hannah's cousin Jimmy loved dressed up as a monster till last Halloween when he discovered the monsters are real and feared that they'll get him again this year. And then he monster proofed his room by putting all the balloons on the floor, sleeping with the lights on, emptying everything out of his from his bed in his closet with his friends, and not cleaning his clothes. Ew, that's, that's, that, that, that's just Justin. Daryl, Bert, and Katie Eric explain that he's boycotting Halloween. His friends don't want to be involved in any of this because they love candy and chocolates. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to do it on this Halloween? Should they all leave Hannah for Hannah's house? She's putting up the Halloween decorations until she runs out of cop book. But then Bugaboo spooks her from pulling under the bed. Like, ah! And then, hey, Bugaboo! And asking, you're going to be there for Halloween? Of course, Halloween's my favorite holiday of the time. And Bugaboo comes that she should go visit Scary Godmother. Using the skeleton key to the fright side she got from her. She inserts the key into her closet and travels to the fright side. When she airs, Scary Godmother is preparing a dish for the party. Her cat kind of Boozle comes on, coughs on, a scare ball! What's a pinball? Oh, 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 until it hit the calendar. Ew! It's gross. Which leads to a magic calendar. Halloween is the most important holiday of them, and they have to visit from the vampire. But before that, we found out that they, he found out that the fright side actually created fall. You see, the fall side always does all the work for to create fall, like making leaves nice and crunchy, get the clouds are nice and dark and brimmy for that fall-like charm, which is really beautiful, actually, I would say. And they have a visit from the vampires, Calp, Max, Ruby, and Orson, who came to ask for scary garments if they need anything. And as, Ma as Max tries to get in, oh wait, no, wait. Orson tries to get in and see Hannah, because it's, I say he has a crush on her. But then he couldn't get in because vampires have to be invited, and then he said that vampires don't feel pain. Well, actually, we used to get hurt by church water. Stick of the heart and garlic and hey, there's a lot of things that can that can hurt me. And as they all come in, be invited. And this year, Orson's mother makes him a costume that makes him look really embarrassed. Since he doesn't know what to wear, Hannah then leaves to go back to the real world. Although before then, she says she might be a pony trainer, doctor, veterinarian, or anything. Go back to the real world. But back in the world, Jimmy had an idea about pumpkins they got from Hannah, talking to Anna on the phone. Before then, we get a we get a weird subject matter. When he has dinner, he sees his meatball and spaghetti, he loves it, but then it transforms to a monster and then he's and then he started getting scared of his food. He starts bang 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 to it. But then as he got a phone call from the other side from Hannah's house, or should I say her house, then he got the idea from Hannah. And begin to stop Halloween from coming and won't get him. He sneaks into the pumpkin patch during the night and smells the pumpkins. And the next day, Bert, Daryl, Katie, and Hannah are horrified at what happened, causing the magic problem with the fright side, causing the pumpkins of the calendars shrink to little jack o' lanterns disappeared, along with Harry, Mr. Payboat, and Bugaboo. Quite boogly moogly! Until Hannah realizes someone made them the mouth, which caused the ca causing the mouth. Which creates a calendar. So yeah, all of the yeah, what they realize is what Jimmy realizes. He's the reason why we're having a Halloween. They're having a good Halloween because when you, when Jimmy thinks it's bad, he's actually doing good. He kicked all the seeds out of them so they can easily carve and get a mouth on there. All you need is a mark and work this out, which is pretty clever, I would say, for Hannah. He in which caused the calendar pumpkin to grow again and bring back Harry, Pettybone, and Bugaboo. When Jimmy sees his friends with pumpkins, he's outraged and he hears the conversations about candy and costumes. And they mention how they hate black licorice, but my favorite candy is candy corn. Although, I get a, a, I, I have addiction to it, so I have to be careful how much candy corn I have. I'm trying to get very addicted to it. Then he goes into the shop, but then his mom, his dad tells him to wear something to keep him warm. The only thing he has that's clean is his devil costume from last year. And he goes creeping out 
right? Yeah. And all the candies are flammable, and all the costumes are flammable, all the candy is poison, causing the pumpkins to shrink even more, and everything begins to disappear, including the house, the entire fright side, so yeah. realm, and so Hannah comes up with the idea to make it just everything. It's just a new treat. But before that... Yeah. Oh, wait. But before that, when they were walking out, we see a moment where they took from the Star Wars movie, like, a holograph big scared godmother came out. Hannah, we need your help. Represents from a star from Star Wars, which I'm not really into Star Wars. So there's new treats and everything. Including the house. Oh, wait, sorry. Going ahead, Mom. Sorry about that. Including the house. Oh yeah, here it is. So Hannah comes up with the idea just to make everything and she has new treats. Soon the fight side is back to its readers and they thought and but the monsters were sad for a moment because they thought they would lose their best friend, her scary godmother. They thought she was dead, but no. She's alive. <laughs> but then before anything else, who just missed this funny thing? The the scary godmother is making Harry the werewolf do all the chores because they were paid from last year's pizza, if you remember correctly. He ordered twelve he ordered twenty boxes of pizza and he didn't have any money to pay for it. So he's paid for everything. And then Carving the pumpkins, clean the tombs, and do all sorts of things. Yeah, so now he's working for her. And the game decided to have a Halloween party at the Spook House, of course, and invite Jimmy, who covered, who covered, who covered the place the party was to be held at Spook House with toilet paper. When they discovered what happened, they feared Halloween was officially off, causing Halloween to be replaced with November first encounter. Harry shirt disappears. But she's naked. Mr. Pennyborn falls apart. Bugaboo shrinks. Skigama loses her color, and the vampires become human. However, Hannah tells them that the toy people are look like little ghosts. After the fright back to normal, Halloween returns to the counter. The kids go to the fright side to celebrate it. When they air it, the monsters scare them, and they laugh it off when they see them. When Jimmy air it, the guests begin to dance, and they steal the best costume and prizes. Ruby and Max are waiting for Orson to put on the prince outfit. But Hannah explains to them that he's already a prince of the night, so they agree to let him wear a different costume. When it's time to announce the winner of the best costume, the prize is gone. When Jimmy sees that the prize, he only has to be busted by Harry, who wanted the candy, so they begin to fight over it. And Bugaboo erred, causing Jimmy and Harry to crash into him, making Harry fly out of the house. And Jimmy and Bugaboo scream at each other after that, scaring him because he looks really scary. A scary monster announced, a scary godmother announced that Jimmy had won the contest. Jimmy's back to his old self again. The show ends with Harry trying to convince the audience to give them spare candy and send it to his address, only to be dragged away by Petty Boat and Scary Godmother, ending the show for Harry. Oh yeah, to the bitter end, you dumb clog. Now, was that a good review or what? Now, as I say, as I always do after this, the end. Two thousand five yeah. anime from sequel starred in Tabitha Saint Germain, Beef McKip, Alexander Lugwood, Brittany Erin, Gary Chalk, and Dexter Bell. It was directed by Ezekiel Norton and screenplay by Lan Bootbar, by based on the book by Jill Thompson, which I have the book actually. Very good story actually. So yeah, what do I think? Well, the animation was to day to day. CGI was old, but back then it was all new to everyone. But to this day and age, I say the animation has its charms. But as for the first movie, well, I like the first one, but the second one has a bit more villain into it. Jimmy has the villain? That's nice. And seeing how to be all creative with the costumes and candy? Wow, and seeing them like, oh my god, they almost lost Halloween. If no one's living Halloween, they lose their house. They lose their friend's sight and themselves. Wow, that would be awful if Halloween disappeared from our life. Yeah, Halloween it would be the candies or the treats. So there you have it, a review on the Scary Godmother Revenge of Jimmy. I hope you guys enjoyed this little treat or treat. Now then, all of you have a lovely but scary Halloween Eve. And pleasant dreams to all who loves dressing as bats and monsters, witches and ghosts, and creepy dolls. Hey, I resent that. Sorry, that was for my doll. I wonder if I can talk. See ya. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee.